Hi, Gemma. Hey, Jacob. Good being here with you. Amazing to be here in Singapore. How, how's your trip been? Uh, so far, so good. I got in three hours ago or four oh, wow. hours ago. And uh, yeah, there's a real buzz here. It's very exciting to be at my second break point. The last one I went to, well, the first one I went to was last year in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And you had a great experience in Amsterdam. It was actually the best crypto conference I've been to. Uh, and yeah, because there's so much building going on and it's very exciting to be. It kind of felt like the earlier days of Ethereum actually mm -hmm. with the, yeah, the, all the activity going on in the ecosystem. Absolutely. But today you're here or for this time you're here for Breakpoint, not just to see what everyone else is building, but also to announce something big yourself. Yes, well, we are. Yes, we are. I'm very excited. Yeah, to be uh, announcing that PowerLedger is expanding into the Solana ecosystem and we'll be migrating our products onto Solana mainnet and also uh, issuing power on Solana in addition to be power being an ERC20 uh, token. So, yeah, we're very excited for this. And um, as you know, we um, forked um, Solana about two years ago and that's really proved out, you know, for us that it's a great uh, protocol. And I think the next logical step for us is actually being part of the ecosystem so that we can really focus on building product and benefit from um, you know, the protocol and the ecosystem and the DeFi community. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Is there any particular thing that prompted this uh, launch on Solana mainnet? Or is there anything that you were most excited about with this? Uh, well, I think being part of the ecosystem, like it was really evident when I came out um, to Breakpoint in Amsterdam in 2023. You know, there's so much going on that we can be a part of. Mm -hmm. We're already com com like participating with the DeFi community and also the DPIN community, um, being like a founding member of the DPIN Association. But it just allows us to be, um, you know, a part of it in a bigger sense of the word. And I think the, the, the main point really is so that we can focus on product and, you know, Solana, which are obviously amazing at um, protocol and building out the ecosystem and we can just slot nicely into that and be a part of it. So I think that, you know, they're two intimately linked parts that we can focus yep. on the bits that we're best at. Absolutely. What does that mean? What does this migration of the products mean uh, to Solana mainnet mean for partners, for some of our clients, uh, for validators? Well, I think in terms of um, uh, our products, it means that we'll be part of the Solana public chain mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, it's, you know, highly distributed and, uh, you know, it's, you know, one of the largest layer one chains uh, in the market. So I think that, you know, is exciting to have a protocol that has, you know, that um, infrastructure and strength behind it. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of um, staking, um, at the moment, we've been operating our um, layer one chain, which is a, you know, a clone of Solana, but we'll be uh, closing that down mm -hmm. and uh, power tokens will have, you know, a new set of activities that they'll be doing in terms of payments and rewards um, and also for um, things to do with, you know, carbon credits, tra tra tracking electricity, trading electricity. So there's a range of uses within our own products and also within the Solana ecosystem that become possible as well. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned a very important uh, distinction or a very important fact about Solana. It's the ecosystem and the community that really drives the growth of Solana. Are, you op are we open for new partnerships? Absolutely, yeah, and thanks for saying. Uh, definitely, I think that you know, there are lots of um, you know, both projects uh, and dApps within the ecosystem that might be looking for um, adding more green credentials to their offering, and we are able to support that um, in you know, in a much bigger sense now that we're yeah embedded into uh, the Solana ecosystem. I think the migration date is on the 13th of October. Wow, um, you, you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think for all the projects you know for which sustainability is an emphasis, and for, you know for many projects, mm -hmm. part of being part of Solana, you know a big part of that is that the focus on how energy efficient it is. Absolutely. And also um, the ability to you know offset as well and you know our products um, offer a range of different services for projects and dApps within the Solana ecosystem so we're you know, very excited to be both supporting the kind of mainstream electricity sector but also the, the Web3 
um, space within the Solana ecosystem. Yeah, beautiful. It was great that we announced this today and uh, we're very excited about what's coming. Yeah, um, super excited and yeah, great to be announcing it here with you, Jacob. Thanks Perfect. a lot. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.